Okay, welcome to the Red Belt Second Cup Line Work. Um, so your pattern will be called Huang now. Um, so we'll just go straight into line work for that pattern. So your first piece of line work is to make a sitting stance and show me a front palm strike with this hand. And this is in line with your shoulder lines. It's a palm strike. I see some people performing this slow in patterns. It shouldn't be slow. It should be performed as what it's supposed to do. So it's a palm strike. And then you show me two single punches. It's not a double punch. So it's a palm strike. And then you're going to bend your knees, drop your hand, roll it up, fire. And then bend your knees, drop your hand, roll it up, fire. So it's a palm strike and two single punches, not two double punches, okay? So it's from here, in line with your shoulder, center line, center line. So from here, in line with your shoulder, drop your hand, drop your hand, two single punches to the center. And when you perform this in line work, we perform it at the angle at 45 degrees. So when you come forwards, you'll be at an angle at 45 degrees, palm strike to the corner, drop your hand, roll it up, fire. Drop your hand, roll it up, fire. So then when you come forwards, the other hand will strike in line with your shoulder. Your knees should already be bent, but as you drop your hand, you bend your knees a bit more. So you bend your hand, you roll it up as you straighten up, and then fire. So your knees are already bent, so you bend your knees more and drop your hand. Roll it up, and fire. So coming forwards, strike with your front hand to the shoulder line. Bend your knees more to drop your hand, roll it up. Fire. Bend your knees, drop your hand, roll it up, fire. Moving backwards, same moves. So backwards into sitting stance to the 45, palm strike to the corner, bend your knees, drop your hand, roll it up as you straighten and fire. Bend your knees more, drop your hand, roll it up and fire. Ready? Moving backwards, front hand, strikes as you land. Bend your knees, drop your hand, roll it up, fire. Bend your knees more, drop your hand, straighten and roll up, and fire. Okay, so we'll do that again coming towards the camera. Palm strike, in line with your shoulder. Bend your knees, drop your hand and roll up, drop and fire. Bend your knees, drop your hand, roll it up as you straighten, fire. Drop your hand, roll, fire. Drop your hand, bend your knees, straighten and roll, fire. And backwards. Bend straighten, fire. Bend straighten, fire. Bend, straighten, fire. Bend, straighten, and fire. Okay, so a little bit complicated. Um, just remember, this action here is you don't have to exaggerate it. Okay, you can make it very small if you wish. But as you bend your knees more, drop your hand, roll it up as you straighten, and then fire. What it does, it creates. Um, it creates a little bit more of the relaxation, acceleration uh, and tension at the end. So it makes it look faster and it makes it look more tense at the end. So it looks like a neater technique. So we'll do that again coming forward. So palm strike, bend your knees, bend your knees. Move forwards, palm strike, bend your knees, two singles. And backwards. And barrel. Okay, so that's your first piece of line work for the red belt level. Um, the second piece of line work for red belt is a little bit like one yo. Okay, so I'll show it you first and then we'll break it down. So the combination goes twin block, upward punch, sliding punch into fixed stance. But off the top of my head, I've got confused whether it's fixed stance or else stance, so we'll double check it. And then pull back, knife and strike, downward knife and strike. Okay. So what you get, it goes one, twin block, upward punch, sliding punch with both feet, and pull back down with knife and strike. Okay, so we'll break that down a little bit. So we'll do the first two moves first. So you've done a twin block before. So if you go to twin block position, and then just like one yo, you pretend to grab them, and you're gonna give them the biggest uppercut in the world. So you really wind it up, pull them in, and then uppercut to the front. Okay, so one more time. So from the twin block, tend to grab them, but wind it up and pull them in into an uppercut. Make sure it's an uppercut and not an upset. Okay, so coming forward to the camera, ready, twin block, grab them, pull them in, 
uppercut. Twin block, grab them, pull them in, uppercut. Twin block, pretend to grab them, pull them in, uppercut. And moving backwards, one, grab them, two. Twin block, grab, twin block, grab, okay. So now you've got the hang of that, okay, we'll add the sliding punch to it now, okay. So from here, go back to your twin block, grab them, and uppercut. Okay, then I want you to pretend to grab them again and touch your belt. And now, not with one yo, you slid one foot forwards. Now you're going to slide both feet because it's a sliding technique for distance and power. So then you're going to slide out both feet into a fixed stance. Then I want you to pull back to a vertical stance. In fact, no, we won't do that yet. We'll just go to here. So coming forward, show me your twin block again. Here. Grab them and uppercut as you pull them in. Point where you're going and touch your belt and power off your back foot and slide both feet forwards. Okay? So I can't really do this technique moving backwards, so we'll have to go back and start again because you can't slide forwards going backwards. Okay? So from here, go back to your twin block, grab them and show me the uppercut. Point where you're going and touch your belt, power off your back foot so you slide both feet into that stance. So coming forwards, twin block. Grab them, pull them in. Point where you're going and touch your belt, just like one yo, and then power off your back foot and slide into fixed stance. Okay, so one more time. From here, twin block, uppercut. Point where you're going, touch your belt, slide both feet. And again, twin block, uppercut, touch your belt. You can pull back halfway and then slide. Okay, so let's add the last element now. <clears throat> and the last element is doing uh, fast pace, okay? So from here, go to your twin block, grab them, show me the uppercut, point where you go and touch your belt and pull back halfway and slide both feet into a side punch. Then you're going to pull back to a vertical stance, ready? Which isn't a new stance if you've been doing the grades, you've done it in your two step before. So pull up to vertical stance, look at your watch, and from on top, show me. A downward knife and strike. Now, some people come from underneath, but I think your hand gets in the way. So I come from on top and show me a downward knife and strike. Okay. Now, vertical stance is half an L stance. So an L stance is shoulder width long, shoulder and a half width long. Pull back halfway and your knees should just be relaxed. It looks like your knees are bent, but so they're just relaxed. Okay. So starting from the beginning, twin block, grab them, uppercut. Point where you're going to touch your belt and power off your back foot. You can pull it back halfway if you like. Power off your back foot. Then pull back fast. Ready? So you pull back fast and from on top, twin block. So coming forwards, one. Grab them and uppercut, two. Point where you're going and pull back halfway and power off your back foot. Three. And then you pull back from on top and downward strike. Downward, anilo son kulturigi. Fast. Action. Okay, so watching again. From your L stance, show me your twin block, grab, uppercut, point where you're going to touch your belt and pull back halfway, slide, pull back from on top, downward knife and strike. So forwards twin block, grab them and uppercut, point where you're going and pull back, and then pull back, downward knife and strike. Okay, so last time, uh, so from here, twin block, uppercut, point and grab and pull back. Slide and then fast. Forwards go. Point and touch and pull back and then pull back fast. Okay, happy with that? And do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. Okay, so twin block, uppercut, point and touch, slide and then pull back fast. Forwards go. Uppercut, touch your belt and slide, pull back to a vertical stance. <clears throat> okay, so that's your second combination from the pattern um, Huarang. Okay, so excuse me a second. <clears throat> so your third one um, <clears throat> is just a thought. We're going to start off and break it down. So this is what it looks like first. So you're going to walk forwards and punch like this, and then you're going to step into your hand. So you're going to step in with your back foot. So this is where it changes. You've always been used to moving your front foot, whereas now you're going to move your back foot. So you're going to change into an L-shaped stance, okay? 
And as you step in, your arm comes in a little bit as well. So you're effectively stepping into your arm, okay? Because you can pretend someone's grabbed your arm. So you're gonna step into your arm and grab it like that at the side. Okay, you'll be able to grab it like this because someone's hand will be there. So you're gonna grab it at the side, okay? Then you pull and kick away and then land with a knife hand strike, okay? So from here, it's a punch. You pretend someone's grabbed your hand. So you step your back leg into your hand and grab. From the chamber, you pull, kick, chamber, and land in L stance with a knife hand strike. Okay, so it's quite a complicated uh, combination. So it's forwards and punch in walking stance. You step your back leg into L stance and pull your hand in a little bit and grab. You release into the chamber, fire, and then land with a knife and strike at the end. Okay, so coming forwards to the camera, just walk forwards and punch. Ready? So effectively, I'm trying to leave my hand where it is and I'm just stepping into it. I'm bending my arm a little bit so I'm not pulling my hand towards me. So I'm stepping my back foot into L, into my arm, grabbing at the side, releasing into the kick to kick them away. Chamber, land and strike. So it's forwards and punch. You step your back leg into your hand so it bends a little bit and grab. You release into the chamber, kick, chamber, and strike. Okay, so back to the beginning. So let's show you that again. So forwards and punch. You step your back leg into your hand and your arm bends a little bit because you're stepping into it. Grab, release and kick, chamber, and strike when you land. Okay, so forwards and punch in walking stance. Step your back leg into your hand and grab. Pull and release into the chamber and fire. Chamber and fire. Okay, so we'll go through that one more time for red belt. So forwards and punch backhand. One, step into your hand here into L and grab. Release into the chamber and fire. Chamber and strike. So it's forwards and punch. Step into your hand and grab, release into the kick, land into the chamber, into the knife hand, sorry. Okay, have we got it? I want it one more time. Okay, so last time just to make sure. So forwards and punch, step your back leg into L and step into your hand and grab, pull and kick, land and strike. So forwards and punch, Step in and grab, release and fire, land and strike, and barrel. Okay, so that's your second combination for red belt level. Uh, so they are a little bit complicated, um, but when you put it into the pattern, you'll find that the pattern's a lot easier than toy game chunga, and it's quite a nice pattern to perform. Um, so now it gets a little bit easier. Because those two pieces of line work and combinations can only be done coming forwards, then we need to do some different combinations kind of coming backwards. So one of the combinations you're going to do is a walking stance with an X checking block, X fist checking block. So it starts from up here and then blocks out in front. So it's not an X pressing block that comes from here and comes forward, ready? It comes from high up and blocks down. And your reverse hand should be on top for added, added uh, reinforcement, okay? So from here, step forwards from high, ready, X fist uh, checking block, then pull back your front leg halfway, reverse hand out, front hand on your belt, and then drop into L stance, okay? Whilst I'm talking you through your line work, if we start in walking stance, this would be your obverse hand, and this would be your reverse hand. But then as soon as we change into L stance, then this becomes your reverse hand, and this becomes your obverse hand, so it gets a little bit confusing. So just for the, your ease of learning, I'll just say front hand, back hand for you for now. So you don't get confused when we change stance, okay? So from here, show me the X checking, reverse hand on top, pull back, back hand pointing forwards, front hand on your belt, and then slide your front foot into L stance into a Yop Jirigi side punch, okay? So coming forwards again, making sure your back hand's on top, so remember that one potato, two potato thing, so you're changing hands every time. 
When you pull back, point your backhand, pull back halfway and drop into a side punch. So this is a line what you would do backwards, okay? So moving backwards, X check in, pull back, reverse hand up and drop into a side punch, okay? So moving backwards, pull back, reverse hand up and then drop, all right? So one more, moving backwards, making sure the backhand is always on top. Pull back, backhand up, and drop into a side punch. Okay, so that is your third piece of line work. I'll go through that one more time again. So left leg forwards, one, reverse hand on top, pull halfway back, backhand out, front hand on your belt, drop into L stance, into a side punch. Okay, so from walking, changing the hands over every time, pull back, and drop. From walking, Reverse hand on top, reverse hand out, and drop. And moving backwards, pull back, and drop. Reverse hand on top, back hand up, and punch. Reverse hand on top, pull back, and punch. Okay, so we'll move on a little bit, and we'll go to your last piece of line work now. Okay, which again, we tend to form coming backwards. So nice and simple, it's just a low block to the front. So a low block from on top, here. And remember, low blocks will vary as well from instructor to instructor. Some instructors teach it as coming across, like karate style. So coming across here, and some teach it as coming down, like a hammer fist on the ankle. Both are okay, it's just different per instructor. Mine tends to be across between the two. So it's coming across and down to the ankle. Um, so from your low block position, you're going to pull back halfway again, but raise your front hand this time and drop into a backhand punch, which is actually an obverse punch when you're in L stance. Uh, when you're doing this punch, it is to the centre, it's just I'm half side facing. So it's not to the front and it's not over there. It's in the middle. So if I draw a line straight from my legs and straight from my shoulders, it's still to the centre. Okay. So coming forwards, low block, down. Pull back with your front hand, halfway, drop reverse punch in the L stance, or obverse punch if you're talking correctly from the L stance position, or just to keep it simple, your backhand. Ready? So moving backwards, low block, from on top. When you pull back, raise your front hand, and your backhand punches in L stance to your center. And if you're half side facing, facing, it should pretty much be going to the corner. Ready? So backwards go, low block, pull back with your front hand, and then drop into L. Let's do that one more time, coming forwards. So walking stance, low block, lift your front hand up, and drop. Coming forwards, walking stance, low block, raise your front hand as you pull back, and slide back out and get into an obverse punch. Ready? So backhand punch. Forwards go, low block, pull back, raise your front hand, and punch with your back hand. Um, try not to get confused because in the previous line work it's here ready and then it's backhand front hand whereas with this one it's now front hand back hand so it's really easy to get those two pieces of line work uh, mixed up uh, so don't worry if you do um, again for the more advanced kicks see the individual kicking tutorials um, but that's your line work complete for red belt second cup thanks for watching